All right, my friends. Um, so let's quickly go over our learning scale. And who can remind us how many levels we have on the learning scale? How about Alexis? Four. We have four levels. So who could um, go over level one for us? What does it mean on our learning scale? And then what does it mean when we're talking about our learning goals? What we're trying to learn for the day. Ava Lynn, what does level one mean? Right, we want to try, but we don't feel successful enough to do it on our own yet. What about a level two? What does it say on our learning scale, and what does it mean when we're talking about our goals for today? Madison? Um, I'm riding the bike with training. Very good job. So what does that mean when we're working on our learning goal? Um, you can kind of do it a little, but you still need help from the very good job. So just like when you're riding a bike, if you still need your training wheels, you're trying, right? But you don't feel like you could do it on your own yet. You're not confident with that skill yet. What about a level three? What does that mean on our learning scale? And what, how are you feeling with your learning goals when we are at a level three? Nancy? I'm riding the bike by myself. Very good job. So what does that mean? If you're riding the bike by yourself, what does that mean when we're working on our learning goal for the day? Very good job. So we can do it successfully, right? We feel confident to do it on our own, but maybe not at an expert level yet. Who else can put that in their own words? Have a job. And what about a level four? What does that mean on our scale? And what about when we are doing our learning goals? How are you feeling? How about Dominic? I am doing tricks. Awesome tricks, right? So what does that mean when we're at a level four and we're thinking about our learning goals? If I can do awesome tri tricks on a bike, how are we feeling about our learning goal, Dominic? Someone. Yeah, you could help someone else. What do we call that if you could help someone else because you're feeling so confident with the skill? Raise your hand. Nancy, you're a what? Expert. You're an expert. Very good job. So I've highlighted the learning goal that we're working on today. So who could go ahead and read that learning goal in level three? How about Evelyn? I can identify a character's point of view. Very good job. So we're working on a character's point of view. And we're going to be able to identify not just one character's point of view, but different characters' point of view within the story that we're reading. So I want you guys to show me right now and keep it close to your heart. Being able to identify a character's point of view, do you feel like you're at a level one, a level two, a level three, or a level four? 